WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny, warm, pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we haven't been able to say this for a long time. All the U.S. and East are trading in the same direction, and that is to the upside. Dow's up 165 points, four tenths. Four tenths for the S&P are 23 points, a half percent for the NASDAQ 100, 102, seven tenths for the Russell, 14 points, one and seven tenths for the semis. Trainings are up one to three tenths. That's 200 point move there. Four tenths for the New York Stock Exchange. Change. Spot volatility still below its 50 day exponential moving average. Looks like things want to continue to move higher, but we'll take a look at where those resistance levels are that we want to watch at day's end. Gold is flat. Silver's up 30 cents. Light three crude is off 43 pennies. Natural gas off 4 cents. 30 year treasury down 24 ticks. Print out at 118.17. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. What do we know about it? Well, first, price is testing profile resistance. Profile resistance up at 55.69. If we get it closed by 55.69 today, we're pretty much in all-out breakout mode. Now, the real level that it needs to close above is going to be this uh, key reversal bar that formed out here on June 20th. So the real high to be watching is 55.88.50. If we get it closed above that, we are off to the races to the upside. Otherwise, price right now is consolidating with inside its daily profile, still with the TD9 count top. Now, that pattern will get negated if we see a close above 55.61 at day's end. Spot volatilities, as you can see, it's unchanged. But more importantly, it's below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is currently printed at 1320. That provides buyers with the edge. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is back inside its daily profile. It tested the uh, TD knockout breakdown resistance level. That's at 2271.25. The high today, 2273.25. So you're going to want to watch that level. Now, if price can close above that, it still has resistance. It's at the top of the profile. That's at 2371. So you wouldn't get any kind of a breakout move until you were to see price close above that level. Again, 2371. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's just trading with inside the sell zone of its weekly uh, profile out there. That's between the area of 105.22 and 106.01. We take a look at Goldilocks. Gold, uh, we'll take a look at this in more detail. It's trading within a large consolidation pattern. It uh, ran into resistance at a Sausalder and change line. We'll see that when we take a look at my other charts. Silver right now trading above the uh, top of its daily profile out there. If it closes above that, it gets back to a bullish uh, signal out there with regard to its movement. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fabulous one. And thanks so much for joining us. And I'll, I'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. Thank you.